always follow the one and two Ravens run over the Dallas defense. <clears throat> a little bit of frustration uh, from the Dallas sidelines. Here's Micah post game. Right now we got people just trying to be Superman. People just got on their jobs, bro. Um, we don't need everyone to be Superman. We don't need no Supermans at all. We just need 11 guys playing together. Everyone's in the locker room saying, we're going to do what we got to do, and everyone's going to be accountable. Then when you come out, we're just like, how are we getting gas? We're not being accountable. We're not set right. I need to get these guys behind me to trust me first. Like, I don't want to make those plays by myself. Because they're going, they're going to slow them down, right? So I need everyone to do that, right? Not just me. So I don't feel like I should be telling another grown man to consistently be accountable at some point. They got to take them within themselves. So every day within ourselves, we got to say, did we get better? Did I get better today? There is, is spots of true leadership there and spots of, whoa, huh? Time to hit the panic button in Dallas, Greg. No, it's not time to hit the panic button. And, and Micah means well. Like, I, I understand what he's saying. Like, we just need to get back to just playing collective together football. The problem is <clears throat> they don't have the pieces to get it done on his side of the ball. Really? With I mean, it's a void. personnel thing? Stopping the – this is <clears> – <throat> look, we – They're a small defense. Last year this was an issue. Every, everyone could run against them. This year it's an issue. We want to look at it and say, oh, it's Zimmer. Mm -hmm. Zimmer, new coordinator. All that. No, it's not. This is what the Cowboys have struggled with. And now you have Dak – no, with no running game whatsoever, all the attention is going to go to CD. So you need other guys to step up. You hear Dak in his post-game presser talking about guys on the perimeter not doing their jobs, not being assignment sound, having errors, needing to be where they want, needing to be where they should be. All these things are magnified when you're losing games. And you got embarrassed last week at home. You lose another game at home when you were getting embarrassed and you found a way to kind of make it a, make it a fight. Make, put put mm -hmm. yourself in position to try to win that game. But you got, ba you got beat up. You got bullied. This is a front-running team. Absolutely. This that is a front-running team. And again, let me just – so I – Sometimes that's like a pejorative, just, you know, like an insult. Sometimes it's actually how a team is built. Yes. And so I said before, I, tell me if you agree. They Stylistically, they remind me a lot of Peyton Manning's Colts, where it's like we're going to play on a fast track. We think we can score a bunch of points. Absolutely. We're gonna, we've got two Book awesome in. edge rushers. Yep. And but we're we going to force a lead. Right. We, if we have a lead, we are going to be able to tee off on the opposing quarterback. But they are fast, sleek, and not sturdy, and not built to stop the run, which the last couple weeks is what, as much as you have correctly focused, Brew, on their inability to run the ball, the bigger issue has been their inability to yeah. stop the run, and then they don't have the lead, they can't play that style, and it becomes a ball rolling mm -hmm. down. Look, I, I, I like your indie comparison. The prob difference is... Dak is not Peyton Manning. Yes, obviously. that is definitively. And then he had, I mean, I don't know which. He had Wayne Reggie and Harrison. Wayne and Harrison. He had two guys. Yeah, Edgerton and James, that, you know, yeah, is a running back. So, true. I mean, that team offensively was better than this Dallas team. But, Greg, I didn't like Micah. First of all, you say I'm not, or not first of all, but in the midst of your comments, you say it's not on me to hold grown men accountable. Well, then don't go say it in the media. If, if you're going to hold grown men accountable, you need to do it in the locker room and say your piece to your teammates. If you, I don't know if he said it to his teammates or not, but to go out and say it in the media, I don't think helps at all. And then Micah also is not doing his part. Nick has some video. Here, here's a graphic of Micah's decline. Maybe I should have used decline other than drop off. Yeah. But so far... You see the first three years of his career, he's essentially a top 10 guy in sacks and tackles for losses. This year, he's got one of each, and that was in the first game of the season against a tomato can in Cleveland. Nothing the last two weeks. And I, look, and I'm not even trying to be funny because Nick was talking about, is this Baltimore's year to fall off? We got, you got hobble watch, wrist watch, all yeah. types of watches. I got funk watch. They're on tomato can watch. They are the on tomato. Cowboys are on to Yes. Oh my God. And I'm I what look, a moment for the show. <laughs> they're on tomato can watch. They're gonna be, here's why. They're going to beat 
The and I don't know if we can get their schedule up. They They're gonna the, beat, I think, the tomato cans. I really want to see this Giants game. Yeah. You, you like They're Daniel beat Jones? The Giants. But look at out, take out the Giants. Pittsburgh, not that's gonna be a tough game. Detroit, mm -hmm. San Francisco, Atlanta is not a tomato can. Mm -hmm. Philly, easy. Houston, you got Washington twice. Yeah. New York, the no, Giants, they, they, you got Washington and the Giants, obviously. In the, Bengals. Yeah. You got Kirk, the right Tampa Bay. Column, you got it's the not a one. lot that of tomato cans. And the rest you got two in your division. Yeah. So you, you got to yeah. sweep those. They'll probably split with the Eagles, in fairness. Yeah. And then, I mean, Carolina, outside of that? No, they're going to have to order, have, they're, they're, In Carolina. order to wow. make the playoffs, they're going to have to beat good teams. They don't have, you know what I mean? They don't have 10 games left against right. the yeah. Cans. Wow. They, and and I, I really, th I believe that they will be good teams. They too. just have to, like you just said, like they got to get out on front when, when trailing. This is not a team that can come from behind. And I think we got some stats here. Look at this full screen. The Cowboys since 2021 when trailing by four, four points at halftime. That's their record. That's who they. That's who you are. Yeah. Mm. Like so, when you talk about stylistically how you're built, this is why when we see them play teams like the Giants, who when they get out on a uh, right. get out and head, they just molly whop yeah. them, mm -hmm. and they they allow that allows Micah to go crazy and everybody like even Diggs. When you have to dog fight and play a physical game and watch a team in Derrick Henry and the Ravens say, you know what, we're gonna do exactly what the team did to you last week. We're just gonna punch you in the mouth. See what you're gonna do about it. You know what that ha what those 11 guys on that side of the defense have to do? Everybody has to commit to supporting the run. Well, so everyone. So that means DBs, safeties, everybody has to be in contain and pursue mm -hmm. to the ball. That doesn't happen when you watch this tape. So can can we just hubs? Can we show the two Micah plays to start the game real quick? Because uh, I so watch. So this is the first play of the game for the Ravens offense. Micah bites on the fake. Yeah. Lamar goes for 12 yards. The final play of this same drive. Micah's running. He's communicating. He once again, you'll see, bites on the fake. Lamar scores a touchdown. I that so my question is that is almost assuredly his responsibility to keep contained there. So no, he has to he has to go with the dive player. So he's so, doing so he's his doing job. Right so he was doing okay, so he, that's what I was asking. He is doing his job. So that's this, why he's saying in the press conference at, or in the, at his locker, I'm doing my job. It just, and, exactly. And no one's it doing it. It looks bad because that's Micah Parsons. And so when like, you've it seen like, it. So whose job was it to watch linebacker. Lamar Jackson? The linebackers okay. have, to, have to come Didn't seem over. like. But yeah, even, that's, even that's with like that. Was but that's what, play but then. hold on. But to, to that point, even on those plays, that's what I'm saying. If you, if you understand and you've identified as a collective unit, that they're running the ball. Now my now my DBs have to be more physical at the point of attack so that they can help out with the contain on the edge as well gotcha. to turn the running back up in. So if, if Lamar wants to keep the ball, now he Somebody's has to go there. back into the flow of the traffic and guys are going to make those tackles and there's no more big plays to Do be made. Do you want to hear him say that in the public, though? If you're in that locker room and you know, yeah, Micah did the right thing on those plays, we blew it. Do, does it help for him to say it in the press, or does it hurt? It, it doesn't. It hurts, but this is this is frustration. This is what losing breeds. It, like all they you start to do, most teams, when you when you are losing, you want all the smoke to be off of you. Like I want to make sure that you, look, that's not me. And we know Micah's a great player. So for me, even though that's not on Micah, those two plays. When you are a playmaker, you still make that play. Right. You you do your job and he more. Ain't catching Lamar, that's the. Yeah. You know. it, but, but but do you understand what I'm saying? You 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 yeah, great watch, play, you, you watch the, the dive, you see it, plays, and right. you have to kind of play both because you know it got me earlier a couple plays ago. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's talk about Lamar Jackson, the reigning MVP. 21 and one against the NFC. 12 for 15 through the air. Also ran for 87, including keeper to seal the game. Here's Lamar. Interesting. It, interestingly, on a plane. Take a listen. <laughs> Thanks to Marlon Humphrey. You know the flock, they gotta hear from you. You know what I mean? They gotta hear from you. you got the dog. Got the dog. Keep stacking. Keep stacking. You shouldn't even arrive right now. Like, we need to be right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Good.
Go, bro. Well, no, Marlon Humphrey seems to think they just blew the Cowboys out the whole game. <laughs> He's like, our first win, Murphy. How you feel, Lamar? And I'm glad Lamar. Lamar said, had the right it, disposition. Right, he did it right. He didn't, you know, embarrass didn't, him, but he was just like, look. Embarrassed him a little bit, but when <laughs> I think the guy.